Yeah, uh, we're going to we want to box out, and then uh, I mean he was doing the job flying in, but I was still kind of planted on the ground, and you know he ran into my knee, um, like a little stinger, you know, it just a little stinger, and then uh, started moving, just kind of went away. As I kept playing, still felt it a little bit, but try to finish the game. Well, finish the game. And we'll see how it is when I you know, wake up tomorrow. You got anything like on okay, uh, nah. Um, little ice treatment. Um, do some more stuff when we land. All the adrenaline and stuff is going then, you know, your body starts reacting to, you know, the pain. Um, yes and no. I mean, uh, just consciously, you know, big three and one is out, so the other two have to pick, kind of pick up that slack. Um, but we never, to our Russ is in on me and you tonight, you know, um, team never said it, just something that, you know, just kind of happens. Um, but I told Russ, you know, I said whether I'll play, Bron play, you know, who, you know, we don't play, it doesn't matter. You still got to be yourself, and he did that tonight. Um, the way he played tonight was incredible, um, and we need that from him every night. You know, no matter if Brian is playing or not, um, or if I'm playing or not. You know, be yourself, and we'll find ways to kind of adjust around him. Um, but anytime we have a guy out, you know, especially a guy of Brian's caliber, um, you know, we got the whole team have to pick up the slack on both ends of the floor. On paper, on paper, this game should this game shouldn't have been that that tight, but. What were they doing, or what were you all doing uh, early on that just kept it kind of? They're a team that play hard. Um, that's why it's paper for a reason. It doesn't show you fast. They run their actions with pace. Um, you know, Pop gets on them. If not, you know, and they, Lonnie got hot, you know, from three. Um, what's his name wrong? Vassal. He, he played well. He got hot um, from three. You know, he's popping on. So, uh, you know, they had tons of bench scoring. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we was able to, you know, put it out in overtime. I mean, down 12, you know, guys hit some big shots for us. Um, in that fourth quarter, stayed composed and um, was able to win it. You, you guys allowed just 24 points in the fourth quarter and overtime combined. What were the defensive adjustments that got us in for that stretch? I mean, when you're down, you have to get stops. And um, we were communicating. Uh, we kind of changed our scheme a little bit to kind of make it easier on all of us. Um, but we had to be that locked in from the start, uh, which we were. Um, and then they, you know, took off, you know, with some miscues, uh, turnovers that led to fast break points, um, offensive rebounds, you know, kicked out for three. So we got to do a better job of, of handling that. But, you know, for the most part, uh, I think we'll be fine. Malik and Austin were the two guys in the whole year besides you and Russ. What type of boost did they provide on the Being shared Malik plus 31. Ridiculous. Um, come in, started, and played well. Big time threes. Um, played great defensively. Austin, just tough. You know, come in, uh, rookie. You know, he comes in and plays extremely well. You know, hit some shots. Um, got hit in the face again tonight. So, you know, he he plays through it, man. He he's he's physical. He's tough. Um, he's not scared of the moment. You know, any any rookie can get scared of the moment. I mean, overtime, fourth quarter. You know, first time he's been through that in a close game, and and as far as, far as the NBA level, and he was stay composed the entire time. So. uh you know, he's definitely a guy that we can we can use throughout the season. We we think tomorrow, Bress. Shea Gilgis Alexander, mm -hmm. uh, probably the only bona fide veteran player, if you can even call him a veteran, for the Thunder. A lot of young guys, fun, exciting player, a point guard, Josh Giddy, top five pick in the draft just a few short months ago. Already kind of a triple double threat. Just not a lot of depth on this team. Lakers play him twice over the next week, week and a half. Rob, winnable game tomorrow. 
<laughs> One thing we did say too, James, uh, there were some things this team definitely has to get better at. This was not a perfect game. Yeah, no Defensively, this team has to get better. Lakers. Yeah, defensively, they have to uh, play a more, you know, sustained game. They can't give up easy buckets. I thought San Antonio got a lot of easy buckets in the paint whenever they wanted. But then they clamped down when they needed yeah. to, which shows that they're Fourth quarter they're definitely much better. Yeah, for me, I, I look at you have to go in the film session and say, what killed us? The pick and roll. We made yeah. a guy, we can't even pronounce his name, an all-star. You know, so he you got to learn how to stop Portal. the pick and roll. What is his name? Pernal? Pernal. Really changed the momentum of that game. We got to start with the big two uh, because there was no LeBron tonight. Russ and AD, they combined for 68 points, 27 rebounds, 12 assists, four blocks, in three steals, James, and it's something we talked a lot about in the pregame show. We led with it. No LeBron, now you get to see the chemistry with Russ and AD. You also get to see the ball in Russ's hand where he's most comfortable. Yeah, I, I think Brad's hit on it. You know, Rob wanted someone that could take over if LeBron wasn't available. And I think Westbrook did a good job of it tonight. And, you know, he had a good pace. Uh, Westbrook's kind of in attack mode all the time. And if you give him an opportunity, he's going to try to get through the rack. I thought he had some unselfish passes early in the game where he got guys shots. He got monk shots, a, little, a couple of lobs over the top. Uh, he was just aggressive. And I think he set the tone uh, for the team. They were able to get back to that on the defensive end. Uh, just, just a special game by him tonight in the absence of LeBron. Uh, I mean, listen, Rob, yeah, he had one three, had a couple of pull-ups. But most of those points were attacking, grown man style. In the rack for, for yeah. Russ. Speaking of grown man style, that's one where he went. I just know he's going to get a block, and he dunks on him. So that's Russ. That's Vince's rush right there, going to the hole, dunking on people, getting to the hole, attacking, drawing the defense, and kicking it out. When Russ is in the attack mode, it's a lot easier for him to play the game. But when he's in there with LeBron, he kind of defers to LeBron. But he sometimes needs to say, hey, LeBron, I got the advantage. I got a guy who can't keep up with me. Go for it. So you love it when he's in attack mode because everybody else around him eats. He finds people. He feeds people. And people get easy buckets because the defense collapses. It's such a big game for so many uh, reasons. A, the Lakers 500, nice first road win. And B, it might open the eyes of the Laker coaching staff a little bit. Like, oh, so we can, we can do this with him if LeBron's off the court. You know, obviously LeBron, a very ball-dominant player. Uh, so is Russ. So the first three games, it was kind of a push and pull uh, with those two guys. Tonight, though, with the Laker coaching staff probably realizing this kid can do a lot, as if they didn't know that already. But now he's starting to match up well with his teammates. He and AD were perfect together. By the way, AD, two follow-up uh, uh, rebounds in, in that uh, overtime that led Ooh, to sure. baskets. He was really strong off the offensive glass. Yeah, let's switch gears and talk about the other star now because he deserves it. I mean, w w without AD, there is no win. Yeah. I mean, this was a dominant performance, 35 points, 17 boards, four blocks again for the second consecutive game. But there was a spurt there in the fourth quarter where it just looked like he was not going to let this team lose. Oh, yeah. You know, AD was being AD. He was attacking the basket. You know, I'm always harping on getting extra buckets, getting extra shots. And AD tonight was active. He was around the rim getting the ball, getting his hands on loose ball, putting it back. The advantage the whole night. Yeah, seven offensive rebounds, <laughs> 72 points in the paints for the Lakers tonight. A lot of it had to do with his willingness to go get that basketball. He knew at some point uh, in, the, in that overtime in the fourth quarter that extra possessions were going to be critical, and he knew he had the ability to go get them. So there was some nice putbacks, some a nice tack to the basket on his part. And that's what you want to see out of him. Before you go, Brez, first time this year, James, the Lakers win the paint battle. There we go. Like that, 72 to 64. Yeah, it's funny you say that. I was going to talk about how uh, before the game, we talked about that. And the Lakers getting crushed, especially that Phoenix game. Not really known as a team that dominates the paint, the Phoenix Suns. Lakers got uh, pummeled down low in that one. Uh, better against Memphis. Perfect tonight in the paint. I guess nothing's perfect, right? But much, much better tonight. AD, a huge part of that. He was great everywhere, whether it was mid-range, uh, following up his teammates' misses, uh, him, himself down low. Some really explosive moves, a James Worthy spin move uh, on the baseline for, for a, uh, an easy basket. He was great all around. All right, well, let's get you to San Antonio. Throughout a season, but the minutes, it's going to be really difficult to get him in the game. And think about who's hurt. Wayne Ellington looks like he's not going to play, even though he's going to suit up. THD, Kendrick Nunn. It's a huge opportunity for this young man. Get a lot of minutes, get a lot of shots. Uh, time for a little Access 360, brought to you by Morongo Casino Good Resort time, and Spa. Rob, where you guys are going tonight. November meet. 9th, good times. <laughs> Rob, uh, Russ had 13 assists. He's on Sunday night, he's sixth in the league. Um, 
You gonna break us down on the little playmaking? Yeah, I'm gonna break it down, but I'm not gonna break the chair down. Break this shit. I'm He's gonna go to up. the wall and show you why this guy is a guy who's a triple dub guy. Westbrook is one of the best guys in, in, in his.